All right, welcome. Thanks for coming, uh, everyone. Thanks uh, for coming here and supporting Jared on his signing day uh, to the University of Waterloo. Uh, we're super excited to have him join our football program and become a student at Waterloo. So let's get down to business. All right, Jared, this is a letter of intent, which uh, essentially takes you off the market from a football perspective uh, and uh, solidifies your commitment to the University of Waterloo Warrior football program. Jared, you're gonna sign right here, student athlete. Once you're done, give a little smile to the crowd. <laughs> All right. We'll have mom come on up. All right, and just like that, congratulations. Welcome to the Waterloo Warrior football program. Thank you. What an incredible day for Jared Watts here at Kitchener Collegiate signing with Chris Bertoia and the University of Waterloo Warriors. Obviously an amazing opportunity for you football wise but academically as well. You've worked a lot for this day. What does it mean to you and your family, Jared? Uh, it means a great deal. When I first moved here from PEI, I wasn't sure if I'd fit in because right. I didn't know anybody here but I felt instantly welcomed by my family already living here in Ontario. They really helped me feel comfortable, get ready for football right away. How did KCI help you with that process? You know, you moved from out east to, you know, to Kitchener, Waterloo, Ontario. You know, obviously you're a football player. Um, who are the teachers here that just made you feel welcome and helped you kind of with that adjustment, moving from out east to KW? So, of course, Coach Horn, yep. he helped the most with helping me fit in, but it was also... Miss Wilson, my business teacher, I've had her from grade 10 up until grade 12, amazing teacher. She just helped me with anything I needed. And also Mr. Thompson, one of the phys ed teachers, he helped me in the weight room. Why the University of Waterloo? Why was Chris Bertoy and the Warriors a great opportunity for you? I think the answer is obvious, but this is your day and it's just amazing. And, and the big smile on your face, I think kind of says it all. But what were the factors that went into your decision to sign with Warriors? So when I first had my visit at Waterloo, the second I stepped on campus there, I knew it felt like home. Right. All the coaches treated me well. They were all really nice, answering any questions I had, especially Coach Pertoya, mm -hmm. Coach Conway, who initially reached out to me, and Coach Jesse. They were all just huge helps, and I loved the feeling there. You're the only person who knows how much work goes into this and the sacrifice that you made in order to attain this opportunity. Can you just give me a sense of the hard work and how validating it is to sign that piece of paper today, Jared? Yeah, so the hard work I put in especially paid off not knowing how it would work out first moving from PEI, took a big leap there. My old coach in PEI, he really pushed me towards making that leap. He saw potential in me saying I could play next level football. Right. I wasn't sure if I believed him. I took the leap because he knows more than me because yep. he's been coaching for several years. He really helped me out. So when I took that first leap joining with Lions, they helped build me up. Mm -hmm helped me put in that hard work to teach me a good work ethic, which really helped. And this, signing that paper really helped me, helped me notice how hard my work paid off. Yeah, simply amazing. We'll talk about the Cambridge Lions in a minute. First, let's hear from his new head coach, Chris Bertoy at the University of Waterloo, and his old head coach here at KCI. Here's what Kevin Horn had to say about Jared Watts. I think we're extremely proud of Jared, um, and mostly because not only about his on-field development and the amount of uh, just the growth that we've seen in his play, but the growth that we've seen off the field. Uh, and an incredible leader and a really, really important person in our program, um, despite of what happens in between the lines. Uh, really, really good with our locker room culture, really good at encouraging and helping to build up younger players. Uh, you know, even coming to early morning workouts today, right, when he didn't have to, um, is just such an important driver of culture and, and such a positive influence in our locker room. Yeah, I mean, one of the biggest things that stands out, uh, Jared, to me on the field is just his ability not only to um, to move, right, and to really know what it is, but he's a, an excellent tackler, he's very technical, right, and he takes a lot of pride in uh, making sure that he's doing things the right way, and he's always willing to learn and always wanting to to get better and improve. Well, clearly, Jared's been in the weight room, and, and we're obviously very excited to, to land another prominent uh, local recruit. Um, obviously, it's a priority for us. Uh, Jared's had an outstanding high school career at KCI tackling machine all over the field, cover sideline to sideline, also a downhill thumper. Very excited for him to 
be coming to the black and gold. Um, certainly hoping that as he continues to get in the weight room, obviously he has been, but that certainly puts him in a good position to come in and compete early uh, at the University of Waterloo. He's also an outstanding student, which obviously is a, a parameter at, at U of W. Um, you know, academics are important to him, and we certainly learned that in the recruiting process. And, you know, he's a good old Eastern boy from PEI originally, so I, I know he'd like, he'd like me shouting that out as well. So uh, we're super excited to have Jared joining a the University of Waterloo football program and uh, look forward to his development and a bright future in the black and gold. A lot of Raider pride from Kevin Horn seeing you go on to OUA football in the next level here, Jared. What can you say about this school from the football program to the teachers to the advisory staff, everybody here at KCI that made a difference for you? You know, huge thank, thank you to KCI. Very welcoming school when I first moved here. It was either KCI or Resurrection. I loved the feel of the school spirit at KCI, right. how they felt behind the scenes of all the sports teams. It really helped me feel welcome. Yeah, and Kevin Horn does a marvelous job here. He's been here a lot of years developing football players, including yourself. Uh, another development piece for you is the Cambridge Lions, Christian Curiata, Jackson Yonkis, obviously a lot of different people with the U18 Lions program. You played there three years. What can you say about the Lions, the impact they had on you? So the impact Lions had on me was phenomenal. First, starting there with Coach Yonkis as the head coach, yep. he really saw something in me, had me playing all the special teams, even when I was undersized, he had me playing all the special teams, making sure I really got field time, put in hard work at practice, really building me up, because he saw potential in me. And then right. Christian helped me build up those necessary skills, the yep. fundamentals to be a really star linebacker on the field, really helped me figure out my technique, right, right. all that, so big thank you to Christian. There's a special lady right over here who is recording this interview. It's time for your thank yous and it's time for your shout outs. I think we should start with your family. Obviously, they've had a huge impact on you. Um, she's beaming with pride, you know. What can you say about, you know, your family um, and all the people that helped you get to this day, Jared? So, of course, a huge thank you to my family, my, especially my mom and my dad, first initially introducing me to the game of football nine years ago, really pushing me to try out Initially, they wanted me to be a quarterback throwing right. the ball. I just didn't like getting hit, so I switched <laughs> defense. No, but big thank you to my family. Really, really pushed me towards it. Starting with hockey, of course, gross. <laughs> <laughs> you wanted to be the one doing the hitting as the linebacker, as opposed to being the quarterback who's getting hit. Of course, yeah. Ma makes yeah, sense. It makes always sense. feels a lot better. Uh, who else? So I want to give a lot of thanks to my old coach, Dave Henderson, for the Charlottetown Privateers back in PEI, really pushing me to take the move out to Ontario to really develop as a player. And I also wanted to thank Kevin Horn, of course, taking me in when I first got here, really saw potential in me, helped me out. Yep. And then also both the two head coaches at Cambridge Lions, Jackson Yonkis and Christian Curiata, both really saw something in me, helped me get as much practice and field time as I needed. Amazing opportunity for you. Super proud of you. You're going from the black and red here at KCI to the black and gold of the University of Waterloo. Congratulations, Jared. Awesome day for you and, and best wishes this coming fall, man. Thank you very much.